Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about the attenuation mechanism of trip operand. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So basically, in our last lecture, uh, we have already talked about tryptophan operand or trip operand, and we have seen how a repressor works in this system and now we know that if tryptophan is present in the bacterial media they do not need to synthesize it and the operon is off just like this if tryptophan is absent in the media they need to synthesize it in order to construct proteins and the operon is on, just like this. And we all know that tryptophan is an amino acid which is required to construct proteins. But apart from this, one more regulation is there, attenuation. So we will talk about it in today's lecture. Like regulation by the trip repressor, Attenuation is a mechanism for reducing expression of the trip operon when tryptophan level is high. Rather than blocking initiation of transcription, attenuation prevents completion of transcription. So in our previous case, we have seen the repressor blocks the initiation of transcription but in this case, it is different. When tryptophan level is high, attenuation causes RNA polymerase to stop prematurely when it's transcribing the trip operon. Only a short stubby mRNA is made that does not encode any protein. So when there is tryptophan in the media, trip operon transcription will be started here but will not get finished. RNA polymerase will stop early which will make a short non-functional mRNA. Okay. So this is the basic structure of trip operon. Here this is the promoter, this is the operator, this is the leader sequence and here we have five structural genes tryptophan E, D, C, B and A. So we have already talked about this in our last lecture. If you missed that lecture, please go, go through that lecture to understand today's lecture in a better way. Now this leader sequence contains four regions. Region 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right? Okay. Now when transcribed into mRNA, the leader has self-complementary sections and can form various hairpin structures. So the leader contains 4 regions. Now this region 3 is complementary to both region 2 and region 4. If region 3 and region 4, these two, 3 and 4, they best pair with each other, they form a loop-like structure called attenuator and it function as transcriptional termination. So here is the loop, 3 and 4 best pair with each other and the loop is formed here. So 1 and 2 are free, 3 and 4 are best pairing. Now this is called terminator. This will help to terminate the transcription process. Okay. Now if pairing occur between region 3 and region 2, region 3 and region 2, then such attenuator forms so that transcription continues. So if 3 and 4 are best pairing, there is the termination of transcription. 
if 2 and 3 are best pairing then there will be the continuation of transcription okay now once rna polymerase starts transcription a ribosome also attaches to the still forming mrna and begins translating the lida region the ribosome follows very closely behind the rna polymerase so basically we know that this is the unique feature of prokaryotes where transcription and translation occur together unlike eukaryotes so this is happening here now the polypeptide encoded by the leader includes two tryptophan residues the two trip codons for the leader peptide lie within region 1 so here we have region 1 here you will find two trip codons okay okay now what happens when tryptophan is abundant that means you have enough tryptophan in the media that means you don't want to get more tryptophan so the tryptophan operon should be shut down at that time what will happen so the translation of lidar sequence continues ribosome reaches region 2 so here we have the ribosome transcription started transcription is going on the leader sequence region 1 is already transcribed and translated now the ribosome reaches this region 2 so here we have the ribosome here we have the polypeptide chain attached with it now what happens so the position of the ribosome prevents region 2 from interacting with region 3. The ribosome is positioned in this way that region 1 and 2 are busy. So region 3 and 4 of the leader sequence will best pair with each other just like this. And what we have seen when region 3 3 and 4 are best pairing that means there would be the termination of transcription so it will happen here transcription will be terminated near the end of the leader sequence so the rna polymerase leaves the complex and it will have just a non-functional mRNA with it and non-functional small polypeptide chain is also produced. Okay, therefore when tryptophan is present further transcription of the trip operon is prevented. Okay, now when tryptophan level is low that means the media doesn't have tryptophan or very low level of tryptophan is present in the media. That means we want to produce more tryptophan that means the trip operon should be turned on at that time what happens again the same thing the ribosome will uh, start to translate the process and it will pause at region 1 so this is the region 1 of the leader sequence now it will pause here it cannot move why since i have already told you that region 1 contains two tryptophan codons so here we have two tryptophan codons okay now if tryptophan codons are there that means two tryptophan amino acids should be there to continue the polypeptide chain but the tryptophan amino acids are not present or very low level of tryptophan amino acids are present so at that time the ribosome is not getting the amino acid tryptophan and the peptide is not going to be extended and the ribosome 
horse here ribosome is actually waiting for the tryptophan amino acids and this leaves region 2 and region 3 free so region 2 and region 3 will base pair and they will form 2 3 structure and we know that if region 2 and 3 base pair then what will happen then the loop will happen which help in the transcription process so this will be the case the transcription continues to the end of the trip operon and we will get the full length mrna so this is the concept i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my lecture